Welcome back to part two of the Forensic Detailing 2017 Product Awards. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. Guess that I am wrong or how We're close now I've been making my amends Come and see Where have you been off to now? Wait for me Dear beloved, lend me light As I wander off into the night Or I won't be found Next up, drying towels. Picking up the bronze award is the Ragmaster Avalanche. So this is just, as I've said before, it's like a giant soft buffing cloth with a very good quality of microfiber in it. Probably the highest quality you're gonna get in any sort of, sort of microfiber or towels. Um, the disadvantage is that you're gonna need a, probably a couple of them to get around your car, because it doesn't hold as much water. It's not two towels stuck together, it's a single core kind of towel, but very, very nice quality. In second place, the uh, inter-detailing dual-sided twist drying towel. I think it's $15.99, very large towel. And it's just, as I said in the inter-detailing video, it's like the twist towels, but it's two twist towels in one, because most of them only got a single side. So you can't use the other side of the towel, which is a, a big waste. So I just prefer these double-sided ones. When one side starts getting sort of saturated and wet, you flip over to the other, so you get sort of twice twice the amount of drying with it. Um, and they work, the drier they are obviously, the more these little twisted straws sort of suck up the water. So that's great if you love those twist, twisted drying towels. Really good, like I say, on panels, going over them quickly. And still the winner, I always just keep it simple. Um, the, the liquid elements or KKD silverback drying towel, 1200 GSM, so it's right up there as dense as they go, you know, as much fiber per square meter as you're gonna get, closely packed fibers with a flat nap, so it's, it, you can still sort of roll it over that paintwork if you like doing that. Still nice quality and a very good price, and it's, as a single towel for drying your car, you know, which is 99% of the guys that watch this, you know, you're gonna be like me, you're people that, you know, looking for good product recommendations, you're not, you're not gonna want a big stockpile of, of towels or anything like that, well, you might do. I mean, I've got enough of them here, but just you want to reach for a single towel that's going to get around your car. And after you've dried all the main the panels, the towel's still got the sort of, um, you know, it's not wet enough that you can still go over the car and do your wing mirrors and, you know, do the lower grills and push them in under the number plates and all those things. That's where these kind of are a little bit better than the twist ones, which are, like I say, are better at going over the panels. So, Gold place for the, the um, Liquid Elements uh, KKD Silverback drying towel. Next up, applicators. Okay, in third place, these cheap eBay sponges um, with, the, with the hex tread on them. Mainly because of the price, you know, they're, they're, I think they're sub a pound each and you get through a lot of these applicators. The foam on them is, is, is nice. It's not some rough, horrible foam. It's a nice soft foam, but it's a dense foam. So these, these are great for sort of grotty jobs like um, applying products to wheels where no matter what you use, it's gonna get covered in horrible black marks. Even if you clean your alloy, your, your wheels really well, you still get some black coming off on these sponges and they, they, it's impossible to kind of clean them. So they, they have to be cheap. But these, the quality on them is, is fine and they, they hold up well, okay? I've got like five of them in the actual box where I keep all the brushes that are, are dirty and I just use for sort of wheel applicators and I might sling them in the washing machine after a few months when they get too bad. Really good. I'll put a link from there. They're, they're found on eBay. They're a ZFE store special. Um, the second one, these microfiber applicators from Paragon. Um, 
they are just like terry cloths, 70-30 blends, so they're reasonably soft and decent enough for paintwork. And whenever you want to use a microfiber applicator, you know, generally I won't use microfiber for heavier things like waxes or anything, but a more liquid-based product I'll use them. Brilliant for um, going around and putting on the dressing over your dashboard and all that sort of stuff, but also for, um, you know, liquid waxes and sealants and stuff you can apply with these. And their biggest claim to fame is I think they're 95 p each. So they're very cheap and they're big and beefy as well, and much better quality than the, the sort of the other ones that you get that are that price, you know. You can get some really cheap ones on sort of Amazon and eBay that are okay, but they're, you know, the foam starts rolling around inside them and they go all floppy and saggy. These are better quality than that at, at the same price. And number one, I, the wax applicator that I'm tending to use the most, again, it's the price, they're a pound each and they're a single piece of foam, and these are the wax pack applicators. I'll put a link from them. They're available only through wax pack. I, I've not found anyone else that's selling them, but again, it's mainly the price and the foam quality on them. It's really sort of, it's really small pores, and they're, they're kind of soft, but they still hold up well in your hand, and they're tapered off, so they're not likely to sort of stick and roll over on you. Again, it's nothing complicated. It's just a good quality and a good price. And you can pay a lot of money for these applicators. You know, there's other ones out there that are like sort of three or four quid each. And I'd just rather get a good quality one that's a pound each. So that is a solid recommendation on, on wax applicators. And again, we've done a video on the whole wax applicator thing on the channel, and there's lots of good recommendations in there. Next up is shampoos. Picking up the Bronze Award, Chemical Guys Gloss Works. Go and have a watch of the video I did on this. It's very thick, very concentrated shampoo, sudsy as hell, nice and slippy. You whack it on, it cleans the car, you rinse it off and dry your car, and the level of gloss it leaves on your car is phenomenal. It's like, it is like you've gone over your car with a really nice glossy detail spray, or, or even a wax. The car looked amazing after I put it on. Um, now, the one I was using before was Meg's Gold, which is a great product, and I've, I've used that for, for years. But I think this is a much more, much more kind of noticeable level of gloss, and I prefer it. I think it's a better product, and I would buy it. I'll buy more of this over Meg's Gold, which I like next time. And that's one of the reasons I do this, you know, this channel, is you find things and you, you go and buy them. Um, so I really love this stuff. Of course, if you're prepping a car for polishing or waxing or you're claying it, you don't really want to be using this shampoo because, you know, you're going to be working the surface of the car and stripping it off, whatever it's leaving behind. So it's a shampoo really more for the kind of guys that are washing their cars at home than the kind of trade. Um, but it is, it's a brilliant shampoo. I also said in the video that it left a st sticky finish on my 135 and that was the only thing I could find that was bad with it. I think that was something to do with the fact I had wax on that car because I've used it on the car after it's been sealed and it's fine. In fact, the finish is lovely and I used it on the Golf as well and there is no stickiness. So I think it was like, I probably had a fresh coat of wax down there and the sort of detergent might have been doing something to the wax to, to sort of break it down and make it a bit sticky, which is one disadvantage you can sometimes get with, you know, natural paste waxes. So it is, doesn't leave a sticky finish, I got that wrong. We do sometimes get things wrong on the um, Forensic Detailing channel. There you go. But I love this stuff. So that's um, Chemical Guys Gloss Works Shampoo. In Silver Place, this was a tough one. This was a tough one. Um, but again, like I said before, they're all good. So the silver and bronze and gold thing. I wouldn't get too carried away with it. But in Silver is the Adams Car Shampoo. It's not as concentrated as other offerings. We've got the 2,000 to 1 concentrations over here in the UK. And this, we think, is about sort of roughly 250 to 1, something like that. But it's still thick. You know, the lava that it produces is thick and slippery. It cleans the car well. But the number one feature about this is using it out in the sunshine in summer. It doesn't dry as quick as other soaps. And... Um, when it does dry, the level of residue, that white film that you have to then rinse off or get rid of, is, is virtually invisible. And that's quite clever. And they say on the bottle it does it. And when you can test it and see that it does it, you know, it gives you a bit of confidence in the product. So the Adam's Shampoo, I think, is really, really good um, in silver place. But in gold place, for me, um, is the Built Hamber Auto Wash Shampoo. And I'm virtually out of it now. Um, 
This is the best stuff I find for actually getting a panel clean. Um, it is completely stripped down. It's you know it's surfacant based. It doesn't have the thickening gelling agents in it. You use tiny amounts of product. It's not as thick as these American soaps. The, the foam that it produces is lighter. Um, you know, it probably doesn't even produce as much suds. Um, but it didn't have clean the, the, the car well. And I really trust these Built Hamber products. You know, I did the brand review and I love what they do. They've got some serious, they're called Built Hamber Laboratories is the full brand name. They do some serious proper, you know, um, what's the word? Formulations, I guess. They, they have got a lot of expertise in the way they build their products. You know, they sort of look at what's out there and they create a product and then they test like hell to get a product which they can prove to themselves is kind of market leading. And um, they achieve it, you know, they, they did it first of all with all their rust prevention stuff and um, then eventually moved into the detailing kind of scene with lots of detergents and, and waxes and polishes and stuff and all our products are pretty formidable. But this auto wash stuff, if you use it properly, use it at the concentrations, trust their advice, cleans a car really, really well and it's still probably probably the one I will use, but I will switch over to the Adams in the summer because I love the fact I don't have to rush and be, be overly mindful of the heat and constantly rinsing because I don't want anything, the other ones to dry. It's definitely got an advantage in that department. Three great shampoo products. You know, there's lots of good shampoos out there and I'm always looking, you know, I get a lot of them come through to the channel, people sending me shampoos, but there's not many that have got any sort of unique things that you can actually view for yourself. And these three, are offering you some some pretty cool things so that's that's sound recommendations um, but like i say i've i've probably got about another five or six different shampoo products over there and they're all functional and they all work and they're all good but these ones are all giving you little unique features that i've tried to kind of cover so that's shampoos next up in the awards category bleeding fallout removers again this year we did a best of bleeding fallout removers which was a lot of work um, but it was interesting useful for me Picking up the bronze award in that video was the Duca Bleed. Just basically a solid all-rounder, faster acting and well-priced. Got to try and speed this up. In second place was CarPro Pearl, uh, not Pearl, CarPro Iron X, which I use as a panel um, fallout remover for bonded contaminants on panels. More specifically, you can use it on your wheels first, wash them first. Difference with this is it's thinner, less detergent in it. You know, it's more a pure iron remover than a wheel cleaner, um, but but very fast to react. You know, and really pulls that bonded contaminant or dislodges it very very effectively. And the winner again, our built hamber theme. Built Hamber Auto Wheels. I've raved enough about the Built Hamber products on this channel. They're pretty, pretty phenomenal um, for me. And you know, they're not expensive. They're not blingy. Um, they are just well formulated and extremely effective. And Auto Wheels, I think, was the best fallout remover. And I said they've got the, they've got another product, Coracell, which is dedicated for the paintwork. They are still my favorite pair of combos for anything to do with fallout removal. This for the wheels and the Coracell for the paintwork. So that's my bleeding fallout recommend, recommendations. But the video goes, the best fallout video goes into a ton more detail if you're, if you're bored. <laughs> okay, next up, in third place, kind of air fresheners or kind of, you know, odor eliminators, that sort of stuff. Picking up the bronze award is Valet Pro Enzyme Odor Eater. So this isn't doesn't have a nice smell to it. So it has a slightly sort of disinfectant smell to it. It's not like an air freshener, okay? It's a very simple product. It's relatively inexpensive, but it's re removing odors and killing like kind of, like the bacteria. So if you spill milk or or baby sick or you know food kind of waste has been in the car and those those stinking stinking sources of bad odors, this will kill it off and it's effective at doing that. So it's one that's important to have in, in the arsenal. The ones that are all air freshery that I'm gonna talk about now are less good at that and they're more about laying down a lot of scent, you know? So that's slightly different. Picking up the silver reward is CarPro SO2 Pure. So this is like a, 
this is like an air purifier coating so you can lay it over a dashboard or something like that i like to put it into the um the cabin filter you know spray it, get a new cabin filter and spray it all into there and then you notice it a bit more it's got a mint fragrance it's very subtle you would not go blasting this around in your cockpit on the floor mats and all that sort of stuff or you know the the fabric seats to add smell to your car because it's one that you use sparingly in the right places so it's 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 different to anything else on the market, um, but you've got to understand it, you know, how to use it properly. It's very subtle, so it's probably better for newer cars that don't have any odour problems, but you just want to kind of, you know, put a slight scent in there. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's advertised as an air purifier coating, and that's why I tend to spray it in the, um, in the cabin filter. I'm not even sure if you're supposed to do that, but you really get a nice kind of mint smell coming through your air conditioning, which I really like. Um, so that's cool. I, I've said before, I hate using any air freshener that, you know, that has to sit in the in the cockpit, like those things that hang off your wing mirrors and that. I don't use those, because I just like to keep my car completely empty. I don't know, it's just, it's just me. Um, and picking up the gold medal for me in the scent section, so I did a best of air freshener video back in the day, and uh, got a load of those and gave you my opinion on them and I've been working my way through all those air fresheners for the last year and this is probably the one I like the most it's Chemical Guys Black Frost it's like it's like um, a bit like a really nice deodorant spray basically a man's deodorant spray, spray like one of those sports sprays it's just not too potent not too pungent you will notice it there it has a, has a coolness to it I like the name Black Frost it has this kind of it's hard to describe a smell being cold but you'll, you'll know what I mean when you smell it. Um, and I think, I think at the moment, I'm just more drawn to using this than other sort of offerings of smell. The other choices are things that are fruity. I did like the margarita, but after a while, you know, you, the sort of strawberry stuff, it's a bit, I just, maybe it's just a man thing. I just like a bit more of a manly smell. You also have their stripper scents, you know, which is supposed to smell like a high class, you know lap dancer stripper and this is great fun you know there's not you know detailing should be should make you laugh and smile every now and then and ever whenever i put stripper scents in the car it always makes me chuckle because i'm a i'm a you know i'm a dirty old git and, and, and any red-blooded male when they get a whiff of this they'll have a little chuckle to themselves um the only thing with this is after a year of using it and the novelty wears off it smells a bit like a woman's perfume you know a, a stripper woman's perfume and um, you know it's all about the novelty of this but it, it's good fun but black frost is the one that i sort of actually like the most and, and like the smell of the most so that is the air freshener awards next up rubber and vinyl john next up rubber and vinyl dressings picking up the bronze award is angel wax angel so this is advertised an interior vinyl and plastic restorer so the disadvantage with this, it's not tire dressing, it's not for exterior. You probably could use it for that, but it's it's not, uh, I wouldn't. Basically, you use this on the inside of your cockpit. It is quite glossy on application. It settles down and it dries. That's the most important thing. So you're not leaving some layer of greasy slime there that all the dust is going to stick to on the dashboard. It dries, but the shine that it leaves sticks around for a fair old amount of time. And it also darkens as well. It doesn't have any, it's crystal clear this stuff. It's like a thick translucent gel. So you don't get any kind of, if you over apply it, like with some of the other ones and they can run, they can leave like kind of white residue marks and stuff like that. Um, whereas this is just crystal clear. There is no one that will not like this product. But like I said, it's just for interiors. That's the only, the only disadvantage because some of these other ones we're gonna talk about now, you can do the whole lot. But I love this stuff. I feel like I've been using this, I probably have been using it for about a year, and I think the bottle's sort of like somewhere down here, because you put it on your microfiber applicator and you work it around. You really don't need to top up that often because the microfiber's, you know, applicator's kind of saturated, so you don't use much of this. So it's, and it's cheap as well, I think, I think. It might be 6.95 for a 500 mil. I'll, you know, I'll put everything in the description as I said. But this is brilliant, really, really brilliant. In second place is Adams VRT. So a general purpose rubber, rubber, rubber and vinyl, um, vinyl and rubber and trim dressing that I talked about 
is is a matte finish you know it's not too glossy this one but you can use it on anything and everything so you can use it on tires exterior use it when you want to maintain the sort of original finish and you don't want shine and stuff like that um, for me on the tire it's not as prolific as enough on the tire um, but but on all the other stuff it's brilliant um, Still good on the tyre if you don't want to mess around with the finish, which a lot of people don't. A lot of people use this as a tyre dressing. Adams have got another tyre dressing, that, that slick glossy one, that I think is, is a better tyre dressing than this, but you always go into the, the world of personal opinion when it comes to what finish you want in your tyres. Um, but there we go. In gold place, and I don't think, I think this was in gold place last year, um, still nothing's knocked this off the perch. Car Pro Pearl, um, uh, again, it's similar to Adams, it's an all-round kind of rubber and vinyl dressing that you can use for absolutely everything. So if you don't want a ton of products, this and you're done. It bulks down for a whole number of different uses. You can water it right down and use it inside on your dashboard. Um, you can use it one-to-one -one on your tyres. The claim to fame with this is it has a very good darkening effect. At high concentrations, a good satin gloss. At low concentrations, um, less less gloss obviously and it dries as well so it doesn't it doesn't stay there but the restorative effect of this is really handy especially if your rubbers are just they've lost that nice crisp blackness this will really bring them back and it even restores plastic like I showed in the kind of when I was using this on badly faded grey plastic trim it can restore it almost as well as kind of solution finish and it's dirt cheap and heavily concentrated so um, and I, I like the particular finish it leaves on the tyre as well. Dark and um, dark and satiny, not greasy, and a little bit of gloss there. Not, not, not some wet look like the Meguiar's Endurance, which is still nice, but um, a formidable product, you know, that is. There's no one, I don't think I know anyone that doesn't like Car Pro Pearl. So there we go, that is the rubber and vinyl and plastic dressings. What have we got next? Next up, the old favourite category of detailing sprays, you know, I've done these to death, but they are a really important product. Um, now I'm giving you three recommendations here that you might have heard before, but they are all giving you something different, and that's important. Um, so in picking up the Bronze Award, Sonax BSD, Brilliant Shine Detailer. First up, when Euro Car Parts do their flash sale, you know, this drops down to about a fiver for this 750 milliliter, so it's dirt cheap. Dirt cheap is always good. Um, the second thing with this is, it is whatever they are using, they've got some comp component here which sticks to your paintwork and it is ridiculously hydrophobic and it sticks to your car for a ridiculously long amount of time. The stuff is really thick and I think it, whatever they're using, and I think they use this raw ingredient in a lot of their sealants and stuff, Sonax, they've got, they're onto a good thing. They've got a potent base chemical in here and um, Nothing repels water or beads like this in a, in a detail spray format. It is the most hydrophobic detail spray you will ever get. End of discussion. There are some disadvantages with it that it's not that slick on the surface of your paintwork. Yeah, okay, it still buffs on okay, but it's not that slick. The spray trigger that it comes from is a, is a little bit of a loose cannon, a bit like me. You know, if you give it a quick pump, you can get some fanage on it. <laughs> fanage. But, um... Most of the time it kind of spits it out and all that sort of stuff so you can decant it. Um, but ridiculously potent. Um, so well done and ridiculously cheap. Picking up the silver award is Angel Wax QED. I've talked about a lot this a lot on the channel. Um, it's one of the best all round detail sprays for me. Um, Auto Express awarded. Um, it's very much like uh, Lloyd's Auto Perfect Silk, which is brilliant as well, but very similar. They're both very good all-rounders, but this is just cheaper, so I'm trying to consolidate everything here. So I'm going with this one, but, but check that out as well. Um, so, you know, any, any detail spray function you want to do, you know, the cleaning of, of, of marks, you know, fingerprints and all that sort of stuff, you know. Uh, like you tend, tend to use them when you the last part, don't you, when you're going over your car and you're finishing. Um, adding gloss, absolutely. Leaves a nice feel to the paintwork. Doesn't put any sort of smearing on there when you're spraying it, you know, that white kind of residue. Um, but also, one of the things when I'm testing these all on, on, a, on a 
you know, a prepped panel, is that it's laying a fair old amount of protection down on this product as well. Noticed it with the silk, they both have a really good hydrophobic effect. So some of these, they all say you can top up your protection, but this actually really does top up your protection. So you can lay it on top of a wax or, or anything really, and it will add a little bit more sort of sheeting and water behavior that we all like to see. So, um, and like I said before, it's very well priced. I think it's $8.99. I'll put the correct price in the description. In gold place, picking up the gold award, Koch Kemi FSE. Now, again, we're not comparing like for like here with these products, so I wouldn't get too caught up in the gold, silver, or bronze. But what this stuff does is solve the water spotting issue. If you wanna know more, watch the review I did on it. It's also very cheap. You get a litre of it, and I think it's about 10 pounds. I don't know if the price has gone up now. Um, so it's very cheap. All of these are very well priced. This five pound a litre is phenomenal. Koch know what they're doing chemically. You know, they're a big, massive thing in the automotive industry over in Germany, and they're spreading out around the world now, and their products are really good. Their abrasives are good. Um, I haven't even talked about the main thing with this, water spots. It just eliminates them off. And um, in its place where you've rubbed off the water spot, it leaves gloss behind as well. So no other detail spray that I've used that says it helps with watermarks really does. They all they might do a little bit, but this actually just lifts them straight off, off the car. It breaks them down. So it's a phenomenal product and it's well priced. That's Koch Kemi FSE, Foxtrot Sierra Echo. Okay, on to the next category. Next up, glass cleaning products. In third place, Angel Wax Clarity. So this is a screen wash. This is not something you spray on your glass to clean it. Um, this is something you put in the old you know, washer jet reservoir, mix it down with water at various ratios, and you spray it onto your glass. Now, not a lot of detailing companies are offering this. This is particularly handy stuff if you are using their glass sealant, which we'll talk about in a minute. I'm giving the game away a bit there. Because um, it won't strip that coating, it won't strip that protection off, it'll actually maintain it. Um, but also, you know, it does all the normal stuff of stopping your reservoir if you just you know, fill it up with water, it's going to freeze in the winter, it's freezing now. This is the time of year you need this stuff and it is a good quality screen, screen wash. And uh, there's a big gap in the market for good quality screen washes for me. I hate using those blue things, you know, those, they're cheap, don't get me wrong. I did have one, I think I put through it in the bin after I reviewed this. Um, they're cheap and they sort of work as de-icers, but the white stuff, the, that white stuff they can sometimes leave behind is hard to get off and it also I, th I think they're loaded with like antifreeze and alcohol you know spirit and all that sort of stuff and I think they just strip off um, anything that's on your glass and I also think they don't help if when they spray out and go all over your panels and stuff so much better product Angel Wax Clarity. Picking up the Silver Award Auto Perfecter M1 Dash, still what I use. Again, around about this time of year, the misting on, on the inside of the car can become a little bit of a problem. Um, so I use this on the inside when I want to make use of the fact it's got anti-fogging agents in it, so it helps keep the inside of your car glass less covered in fog. So you haven't got to turn the old heater blaster on and wait, wait 10 minutes for it to clear. And you'll notice if you've been detailing for a while, when you clean a car, the, the inside of the glass that's not been cleaned for ages, it's, it's more prone to actually misting, it up, misting up than it was before you cleaned it. Because I think it's got this like layer of God knows what grease on it. So um, this is a really fantastic product. And we, we've got a little visitor here. Hello, you. Hello, Daddy. Come here, come here. Come on, Sally, what do you mean to do? Come here, come on, Sally, come on, camera. Oh. Now this little monkey, now tell me, say hello to the viewers, what have you been doing today? Went to see Nanny. You went to see Nanny? Did you have fun? Yeah. And have you been a good girl? I did. And have you spoken to Santa Claus and asked him what you want for Christmas? I didn't. You didn't? You can do that later on? Mm. Okay. And the final question, what is a better tool, a rotary or a DA? Uh, a rotary. A rotary, why? Because it's nice and good. It's nice and good. I agree with you. 
Do you want to go? I didn't go to find fortress. You didn't go? Okay. And a kiss. And a kiss. Go on. Wait one there. Oh. And a cuddle. On a cuddle. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Off you go. Go yeah. get mummy. Love you, daddy. Love you. I'll come and play, we'll play toys in a minute, yeah? Okay. Okay. In gold place, we have, I'm running low on this stuff, just a standard glass cleaner, Angel Wax Vision, not expensive, I can't remember the price, there's too many products here. Like I say, everything will be priced in the description. Angel Wax Vision glass cleaner, this stuff, the negative are, you know, it says to me, do not breathe the vapors. If you do, you know, you get a lung full of this stuff and it's not pleasant, okay? But that's the downside. The good side is whatever they're using cleans the glass like noticeably better than a lot of other glass products, especially if you've got a car where it hasn't, you know, you're cleaning it as a professional, it hasn't been, the glass hasn't been cleaned properly for years and you've got that film of grease. This stuff cuts it down beautifully. Um, like I say, it's probably just concentrated. Whatever the active ingredient is there, it does get down your throat, but it's my favorite glass cleaner, so I forgive it for that. Um, it's stinky, but it's good. So that's uh, Angel Wax Vision in Gold Place. <laughs> okay, next up, glass sealants. Now, I am not a massive fan of glass sealants. Not a massive fan, but that's just my irrelevant opinion. I know people that are, oh, Reg loves them because he likes water sheeting off his glass and thinks he can see better when he's driving without having the wiper blades on, which is true. Um, the reason I'm not a fan of them is because I've tried a lot of them over the years and some of them are horrific. And they, they, the biggest problem with them is when you use them on the front windscreen, you get the big ghosting trails of, um, of stuff coming off them. Even if you've cleaned your glass and prepped it really well and you put them on, um, you can get that or you can get it later on as well after you've hit your car with kind of detergents and stuff. Um, you can also get juddering blades um, and all that sort of stuff. So I wasn't really a fan of them, but I found some that, that, are, that are good and I can recommend. So the first one, picking up the bronze award, and really they're not like for like products here, so the bronze, silver and gold is a little bit irrelevant. Auto Glands Vision, so they've got the same name, you know, it's a, it's a name that's gonna get used a lot when glass is involved. But this is, a, this is a water repellent glass cleaner. So it's a glass cleaner and hydrophobic sealant in one. They do a normal glass cleaner with their moonlight. Um, the reason this is good is if you have used glass sealants, you can top it up with this, or if you don't wanna kind of, you've got a prepper glass sealant, you know, you've gotta get it squeaky clean, grease free. You can't just throw it on top of a dirty mirror. But you can use this, if you've got your glass to a good stage, you can then use this and just keep using this to clean it and top up the seal, or top up the seal on a dedicated sealant product. And it's good, um, it's both good in the way it cleans and is able to leave a seal down at the same time. You wouldn't think you'd be able to do those two things at once, but you can, it's a solid product. Obviously it's not quite as prolific as putting a full on sealant on the glass as, as these next products that we're gonna talk about. Pick up the Silver Ward HDD Hydrology. Um, so this is a six to 12 month water repellent coating that you can put on your glass. You put it on, it's a completely thin liquid. Feels a bit like a, applying a ceramic. I like the bottle style they've done it in. So you just apply it to a microfiber applicator after you've cleaned the glass. Smear it on, they say leave it for five to 10 minutes. The longer you can leave it, the better. Then buff it off. And then the big tip for me is leave it well alone. Do not get your windscreen wipers on it while it's still drying, or you'll get that, this sort of stuff on the blades. Make sure you clean your windscreen wipers deeply before you use it. If you do that with this stuff, it's durable and it works, okay? So, um, like I say, some of them will make a complete mess of your windscreen. This stuff won't. Very similar to this product. Uh, Angel Wax H2 Go. They are virtually identical. They, they won't be, you know, they, they, they're virtually identical as an end user point of view. And, you know, they formulate this stuff themselves, so it won't be the same product. Um, but very similar to work. But I've got a video where I've got some, or I've got some footage in the camera in the tank of both products kind of side by side, because I'm probably going to review the HDD Hydrology at some point when I get, finish the rest of the video off. Um, 
and I just think this one edged it in um, in durability perhaps but we are splitting the atom we are really splitting the atom but they're both both good glass cleaners and very very similar products so the, there's two solid recommendations there for, for stuff we have not really put ceramic coatings on and done videos of that on glass I'm old school when it comes to glass you know I just I think just spending the time cleaning it is really good um, I don't know how much a ceramic is going to protect the condition of the glass. We'll, we'll, we'll delve into that next year on the channel. There's loads of little little areas we need to go and delve into on the channel. Um, but like I say, with glass, I should, should just rather spend the time cleaning it. Okay, next up, where are we going? We are going to be going with degreasers. So in the degreaser category, in picking up the bronze award is Adam's tire and rubber cleaner. I haven't talked about this or featured it because there's probably not enough to, to talk about to do a whole video. You know, you know how much I waffle on. Um, but basically, this is formulated for cleaning rubber, so tires, trim, windscreen wipers, um, and you really see it work. Okay, it's got a bit of foam in action to it, but 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 not too much. But the thing you will notice is when you spray this, and you don't need to use a lot. And you work it work it over the tire you'll just see all of the dirt kind of dribbling off the tire you know the melting word but you, you'll see it you'll see it work and if you're using the wrong product or the product that's not really a degreaser or not strong enough to get that stuff off the tire you, after you've cleaned it you know with certain APCs you could go back over it and you wipe it down with a throwaway kind of relegated microfiber and it can still be covered in a load of black stuff and you then you go again with the APC and go again if you're using this stuff you'll you'll get your tires clean a hell of a lot quicker quite a specialized product though so um, you know I'm looking at an overall degreasers here but this is a really good one on um, on uh, for, for, for degreasing rubber in silver is bright max's grime out so this is a degreaser with a leaning towards sort of general purpose cleaner. So engine bay degreasing, wheels, you know, interior and exterior, you might want to water it down if you use it on interior, unless you've got some greasy stain you want to get rid of. This is high foaming, this stuff. Um, so, you know, it's great when you're spraying it into like your door jams and that, because it just, you spray it on, it kind of sticks. Um, rather than kind of runs away, so that's one thing nice. And you just work it. I know, I know the whole thing about foam not helping you. It won't help with the degreasing process, but it's nice when something's foamy because you can kind of see it and you can kind of work it around. Um, this is a good product. It's one of those products that I think you're better off buying a big bulk gallon of rather than one of these because you go through a lot of it. Um, but it's very effective. So that's Brightmax Grime Out. Picking up the gold award in the degreaser category, Built Hamber Surfex HD. Again, it's more kind of, well, it says high powered water based degreaser. You can kind of treat this as an APC if you like and lose, use it at very low concentrations for cleaning the interior. Nowhere near as foamy as, as, as this one, but very effective at breaking down grease. And it's big claim to fame, you know, that as well as being well formulated and people know it cleans well. Um, it's big claim to fame again is the price and the fact you can bulk it down so you could decant a litre of this and mix it down 100 to 1 you know you'd have 100 litres of very light interior kind of cleaning solution you could bulk it down like you know 5 to 1 for heavier degreasing you know um, you know, and you just keep going, the sky's the limit. If you've got really thick grease, then you could use it, almost use it neat. But the main thing is the price again, you can buy five liters of it for next to nothing. Um, and it is really, really good stuff, as with most things that Built Hamber do. Very good, very good um, degrease of this Surfex HD. You can also use it on your panels, a bit like a traffic film remover as well. Um, you know, it will strip waxes and stuff at higher concentrations, but if you're doing a deep sort of clean, it gets used that, that way quite a bit as well. So those are our degreaser kind of um, cleaner recommendations on this channel. Not many products left to go now, guys, so bear with me. Now we are doing snow foams. Picking up the Bronze Award, uh, again, another HDD stuff. I've been through a lot of their products and they're all, they're all pretty decent. The price is pretty good. This is called Foamumental. So it's a highly concentrated snow foam, 
LSP safe, that's something that they've got to tick the box with, you know, for me. I don't want them stripping off the wax, especially, especially the paste waxes when I'm using these. And, you know, they, some of them can do that. And if you over concentrate them, some of them can do that. This stuff doesn't. So it's not the most aggressive snow foam out there, but I don't necessarily want the most aggressive. Um, so this is good stuff, HDD foam mental. it's not that foamy either it's like a, a more runny one I don't tend to use the thick foamy ones so um, I think it's just a main because it ties in with the snow foam next up in silver place is Valley Pro Advanced Neutral Snow Foam this was here last year um, again note the Advanced Neutral it's not just a normal Valet Pro one this stuff has a little bit more cleaning power in it um, which is important um, so it's still safe on your, your, it's not going to strip your wax or anything like that. But you want these products to have a, a good amount of cleaning power on there. And the aim of them is to get road film off of the car so that when you go in with a mitt and you're hitting that panel, you don't have that film of dirt over the paint that you're shifting around when, you, when you're shampooing the car. That's a danger sign that you want to avoid. You know, in winter, it's a real possibility as well. Because when you're doing that, I think that's really bad for your paintwork. Um, not as bad as doing it when it's dry, but still pretty bad. Um, so you really need to be getting that film off of your car, um, however long it kind of takes before you go in and make contact. And these products that I'm recommending, I think will do that. I think Valet Pro Legit in, in its potency over the HDD. So perhaps in summer when there's less foam, I'd use this stuff as a pre-wash pre where I really want to look after my kind of coating. In no surprises, in gold place is Built Hamber Auto Foam, high activity snow foam, cleans like hell, is relatively cheap. Um, and this stuff, you know, you've got to get that dilution ratio correct. I need to, I think I'm not quite using enough of it. From, Brian did a great review on this stuff on Detailing World, and you know, uh, spoke about the importance of getting the concentration right and measuring it all out. I chat to him about it about you know, how much he thinks you should use, and he's calculated it. He's using a lot more than me, um, so I probably need to do that calculation again to, to figure out the concentration ratio for my system. I tend to use use about one or two inches of it, one or two inches of it for about 500, 600 mil, rather than the one to 10. So you do use a little bit more of this product, um, but the cleaning power of it is, is second to nothing. So, um, that's why I like it. It's also it's also pretty cheap as well. You know, a lot of these snow foams about thirty quid for five liters. Maybe some are twenty five. This is a lot less than that, so uh, it's a winner for me. And and I talked about a lot about Built Hamber in the um, Built Hamber review. Their products are solid, like I've said. So that's the snow foams. So that's the 2017 Forensics Detailing Product Awards. Let me know in the comments the products that you think should have been in here that are hot or not. That gives me a really good steer on, on products to potentially explore later on. We nearly didn't shoot this video. I just I was going to drop it completely because because the idea has been been the idea has been taken and done on another channel, exactly the same, you know. And I just that doesn't bother me in the slightest. In fact, they do it a hell of a lot better than I. I can, they, they know how to use a camera and that's cheating. Um, but I just felt it was less value if it was if it was one offering amongst the crowd, so I was gonna drop it. But I got the idea for doing this from Detailing World. Uh, the Detailing World forums used to do it, but it was a voting system. And that was, I think, too much of a can of worms for them. So they dropped it. Whereas for me, there's no voting system. It's just my recommendation. So it's less of a can of worms. So I hope you like the product recommendations. And I just want to end this video by doing all the kind of shout outs and stuff like that to the various companies that we've, we've worked with this year. This was quick, uh, just a quick brain dump. So my apologies if I've missed anyone, but let's fly through this list. Uh, John and Matthew from Angel Wax, Lloyd from Auto Perfect, Joe from Auto Glands, Jeff from Prestige Car, the Adams Distributors, Matt from Bright Max, Pete from uh, Built Hamber, Elliot from Ragmaster, and Levi from the US side, Rag Company, um, Ivan from Optimum Car Care, he helped me with that buffer trail video and gave me some really good information on that. Um, that was fantastic. Tony Coulson from Wax Planet, Thomas from Microfiber Madness, Shane Webster from um, High Definition Detail, Ram from Colorlock, great, great to meet Ram this year and work with him. Imran from Interdetailing, uh, John from Clean and Shiny, 
uh, Stephen from Monster Shine, uh, Alan from AM Details, Bert of course from Pro Detailers, and um, Jackie Wong from Soft99, Dan from Waxpack, and Rob Inglis from Duca. So thank you very much, guys. There's all been bits and pieces from you guys on the channel, and it's it's really important. Like without you know all these detailing products to talk about, that still the exciting part of detailing for me. Without the products, there'd be I'd have run out of things to say years ago. So really appreciate it. Look forward to working with you all again next year. And thanks very much. Um, so finally, a big thank you to all the viewers and subscribers that have tuned in, anyone that's, that I've spoken to this this year, and it's been a lot of people. If ever you've got any questions, detailing questions, you're best off messaging them to the Forensics Detailing Facebook page. But I do also try and keep up with all the comments for all the various videos, and there's lots of good discussions and information going on in there, so that's been fantastic. What do we have coming up for 2018? Well, I'm definitely going to try and get a couple more brand reviews in. I've held fire on those. We've only done three. And I've got a list and I'm sticking to that and I'm going to keep banging away at those brands till I can till I can get them. And uh, even though I have to go down there with a baseball bat, that's a joke. Um, so we should hopefully do a couple more brand reviews, some more practical detailing stuff, some more debunking stuff. We definitely want to do some more sort of shootout videos. Uh, the glaze one is on the pipeline that I've been meaning to get out for ages, just not at the time. Abrasives as well. We're going to be doing some mean, meaningful comparisons on cutting compounds and finishing abrasives and all that sort of stuff. So there's lots of good content to come next year. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys, and I will see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now. Have a great Christmas and New Year.